In today's episode, we remember nationalist Annie Mascarene, who was born on the 6th of June 1902 at Trivandrum. Along with Akamma Cherian and Pattam Tanu Pillai, Mascarene was one of the leaders of the movements for independence and integration of the princely states with the Indian Union. In February 1938, when the political party Travancore State Congress was formed to establish a responsible government for Travancore, Mascarene became one of the first women to join and was appointed to the working committee. In 1938 and 1939, Mascarene served on the Economic Development Board of the Travancore government. In 1942, Mascarene joined the Quit India movement and two years later was elected as secretary of the Travancore State Congress. Her activism led to numerous arrests and imprisonments for various periods during 1939 to 1947. Mascarene represented the princely state of Travancore and Cochin Union in the Constituent Assembly. In the Assembly, she spoke on the issue of federalism. She was a member of the Travancore Cochin Legislative Assembly between 1948 and 1952, where she served briefly as a minister in charge of health and power. Mascarene was elected to the first Lok Sabha as an independent candidate. She was the first woman from Kerala to have been elected to the Lok Sabha, Annie Mascarene who died on the 19th of July 1963, worked for the betterment of people till the very end. We also remember nationalist Hanumanthappa Narasimhaya, who was born on the 6th of June 1920 in Hosur, Karnataka. The young Narasimhaya joined the National High School in Bengaluru in 1935. The school became a platform for his interaction with Mahatma Gandhi the very next year when the latter visited it and young Narasimhaya was the translator for his speech. He became a lifelong Gandhian and was jailed during the Quit India movement for nine months. After independence, Narsimaya joined National College Bengaluru as a faculty member. He went on to do his PhD in nuclear physics at the Ohio State University but remained a strong votary of non-violence and peace. After coming back to India, Narsimaya became the principal of the National College Baswan Gudi in 1961. Later, he became the Vice Chancellor of Bangalore University in 1972. Narsimaya believed education and rational thinking were the means to uplift the masses. He started five schools and colleges in remote villages of Kolar district. Narsimaya was awarded the Padma Bhushan by the Government of India in 1985. He died in 2005 and was cremated at Hosur with state honours. We also remember revolutionary freedom fighter Ashok Nandi who died on the 6th of June 1909. Born in 1888, Nandi was a member of the revolutionary group in Komila, now in Bangladesh. He took an active part in the agitation against the partition of Bengal in 1905. Nandi was arrested in 1908 for complicity in the Alipur bomb case and died while imprisoned in the presidency jail on the 6th of June 1909. We salute the great martyr.